Okay, so after just four years, the horn on this F31 BMW 320D um, has stopped working, and I'm told it's the the high note by the garage, but they're going to charge me 120 quid for a new one, and I've had a look at what's involved in the fact that a BMW won only lasts four years. So I've got these uh, FIAM, or FIAM, however you say it, AMS 80 Lux, which looks to be a close replacement for what's missing. So just to locate the horns, you'd think in the bonnet perhaps? No, I've already had a good look in the bonnet. And there's one working over on the right hand side, and I'm assuming the other one is under here somewhere. So I'm about to access it by taking off the wheel. So we'll see if I've got that right. So of course cars don't come with jacks these days, so I'm having to improvise with an old scissors jack, or screw jack, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's doing the job. There is a sort of little cup in there that I have to fill with a bit of wood that is kind of crumbling, but I don't think it's going anywhere. Uh, the wheel's just ready to come off and the object is to remove the wheel arch lining so we'll get on and do that well, that's the wheel off it's actually a little stiffer than you'd imagine took the studs out and then you can see it was welded in with a mixture of rust and corrosion you can see the same inside there which is surprising it had new tyres put on at the start of the year so a bit surprised to see that, so I'll give that a bit of a clean up before I put it back on. Okay, so as with all things, that's a slightly unplanned additional work scope. So I've cleaned that up a bit just with a wire brush and then with alcohol, but I'm loath to put any grease or anything on it. It's just a bit annoying that it's got quite so rusty. And if we go and have a look at the wheel, yeah, it's uh, in there. It's really quite busted uh, where it's reacted with the rust. Uh, I'll make sure that's totally dry before it goes on but I'm not really very keen to put any kind of grease or anything like that on because uh, strange things can happen with wheels and grease. Right so back to the job in hand and you can see these are the, the screws that hold on the wheel arch. There's actually one missing up here. Uh, and then some down the other side there. I did take these hatches off previously, but one of the top one gives you access to the main headlight, and then there's this small one down here, which gives you, I'm assuming, access for the fog lamp. Be a bit of a fiddly job though. Okay, so we'll get these taken off and see how that goes. I won't film the whole process of taking screws out because it's not that exciting, but it's an 8mm hex, it's uh, fairly straightforward. Okay, well, that was pretty straightforward. The screws are all quite loose, which probably explains why there's one missing. So I'll maybe check my other arches, maybe not today, but another day, and make sure they're all just properly tightened in. So, Fairly easy bit of plastic to come out, and then in here, you can see you've got access to quite a few bits and pieces. But there's the horn. And, uh, so it's actually a bit wet inside, which may explain why it stops working. And I'm not sure why it would be wet inside, there's something that's not quite right about the drainage. So I'll maybe have a look at that. Um, it could be, if I dry the thing out it might work. Um, so we'll take the thing off and have a look see. Okay, so here's the horn. Now you can see it's, there's a lot of water around there, but the, the contacts themselves look to be dry. But if you look at the connector there, it's just an awful lot of water. Reason being that if you look up from in here, you can see you're in the back of the headlight, and 
the water can just get down in this gap here. Now there was quite a lot of rain last night, so that explains why it's wet just now, but I can't help thinking that might have contributed to the, the failure. So while we're in here, you can see there's the, the spotlight. Um, there's a couple of connectors there for something or other. Back of the headlight. Anything else particularly of interest? Okay, so I'm going to give the horn a bit of a test just with the battery and see uh, if I can get any life out of it. And if not, then I'll put in my old fiams. Okay, so obviously with the I tested the horn and there's nothing happening. So looking at the fiam, the fitting it in will be no problem, but it comes obviously with a standard big spade connector and the plug here is quite small looking at the the horn it's got these tiny recessed little spades so what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll take off this uh, well, I'm not sure if you it's kind of like a fit uh, male connector really but recessed um, so I'm going to take that off and then see if I can easily access the back of it um, so I can leave the original them. I can leave the original plug on um, that way for a later date it, it needs to get a BMW horn back on then fair enough uh, but we'll see how that goes if it doesn't work I'll just have to cut that off and put on speed connectors um, it's not like a big deal really if it needs doing again I'll do it again okay so for those of you that want to see how the horn comes apart, I've got it clamped in a vice here and down there there's looks like silicon which I'm assuming is like a couple of silicon plugs and there might be a screw or something we'll see that's holding this on so I'm just going to try and drill it out There's some sort of a. Oops, if you can see that. Yeah, something shiny in there, so I don't know if it's a screw or it's possibly a stud that the silicon's glued to. I'll clean the other one up a bit and I'll just try and prise it off. I'm not too bothered if it uh, does a bit of damage. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. to screw it onto the thing, I just need the connector so if that will come off I'll be happy with that. Right, so I think that's it's actually all kind of like a welded piece. I think that's the back end of those connectors. So if I take off some more of this plastic, I should be able to. That's so you can see it better. Um, should be able to get that so it can uh, just be soldered on a couple of speed connectors, and then 
I don't need to cut the plug off. Yeah, that's the bits that are coming out there. So it looks like they're actually on here. This is like a stud that's been welded on or something like that. Anyway, I don't think we'll film that part of the process. I'll come back when I'm done. Well, as usual, that took a bit more faffing about than I would have liked. But here we go. There's, I've put in the two horns here. Um, I've put on copious amounts of hot melt glue just to give some water protection. And to extend the bar in here, I've just put a straight bar across and then given it a little extra support with a cable tie there. But it's all as steady as it was before and it's, it's not that heavy so it shouldn't be a problem and the original wiring plug is there untouched so it's just the back end that I've changed out so if I did want to put in the original BMW version at a later date then I could but given it was like 15 quid for a pair of Fiams or 50 odd pounds for the BMW horn and then another £60 to get it fitted if I was getting it done by the garage. Um, I think that's an okay deal. I've also, um, you can see here, where there was a missing screw, there actually had never been a screw there, so I've put in a little clip so I can screw into that. So that'll not make any difference to the performance really, but it's something that wasn't there before. Um, and that's slightly cleaned up. It's as good as it needs to be I guess. And the wheel will go on. So get the thing put back together and then we'll do a bit of tooting. Just thought I'd come back and say that's the, the wheel arch back in. I don't suppose it's been as clean as that since it left the factory. <laughs> um, and then the, the odd screw there but that's it. It's better than not having one there at all. And the job's good and I didn't mention the fact that I put in the two horns, so obviously put an increased load on the electrics, but the, the 16 amp fuse covers it and it should only be drawing about 14, so we should be alright at that. Okay, that just about wraps it up. I did mean to say that the Fiam horns come with a relay as well if you need to put a relay in. And anyone that wanted to know what was wrong with the old one, well, there it is. I opened it up and it's just full of rust soup, so that's never going to work. Um, and we'll just go in for a, a shot of the, the horn actually working. So that's quite loud enough, I think.